Hello everybody, my name is Greg Ryder and I'm the CEO of a company called Angel Investors Network and we also have a, a division called Report Card Marketing. And because of our marketing division that we have, uh, we help companies build funnels, online marketing, offline marketing, database management, everything from lead magnets to trip wires to core offers to return, to return path. And for most companies we work with, we can help them double, triple, and quadruple their revenues. And because of that, I become very, very knowledgeable of all kinds of cool marketing tools and things of that nature. And we end up creating a tool called FB Lead Finder, which we'll be showing you today. And Marianne and her partner, Tom Schnault, uh, have been friends of mine for years. As a matter of fact, with Tom, um, I've been friends with Tom for since 1981, 82. How long have you been working with Tom, Marianne? I've known Tom, uh, known him probably for about six and a half, seven years. Oh, okay, and, cool. Yeah, working with him real close over the last couple of years. Awesome. So today we're going to share with you some Facebook marketing strategies. We're going to show off a new software that it's not even, I can't even say it's a new software anymore because it's not new anywhere. It's just my habit is. I used to say it was new all the time, but it's an old software. It's been out there. It's ironclad. Thousands of people have, uh, have, have made the small investment to get it and use it. We're going to show you how that works, what that's about. But here's our goal. Our goal is is that, well, let me say this. So um, back in 2004, I, I was asked to start teaching on stage and speak at, to audiences and teach. And the, the promoter had said to me, Greg, if you don't give value every five minutes, I'll never let you speak on my stage again. And I really took that to heart. So I'm a big respecter of time. I value your time. I know it's valuable. I surely value my time. And I don't want to do anything that doesn't provide value to you. And as a favor to Marianne, you know, to, with our relationship, she's just been a huge supporter of everything I'm doing. So is Tom. And so I'm like, hey, let's do a little webinar. Let's share with your tribe and your people and your followers some great strategies, some great tactics that they can implement with or without our software, and help their business grow. So that's what I want to do today. And my promise is that you're going to walk away with some tangible ideas, strategies, and tactics that you can implement today and start you know, building your business and getting leads and, and finding leads and getting better prospects. So with that being said, I would ask you a couple things to do. One is, would you mind shutting off your cell phones, closing down your email, getting rid of the, of the distractions, because obviously we want you to be completely focused on what we're doing, and we want you to be able to ask questions and really be in tune and present to what we're going to be sharing with you, because we think it's that valuable information. And then two is, when you do have a question, you can type it right in the question box, and we will get to your questions. We will answer your questions. And we might answer them in the middle of the presentation. And again, this is real ad lib. I don't have this orchestrated PowerPoint and, and presentation. I just want to share with you some stuff and some ideas. And Mary Ann's been using our software. We're going to bat it back and forth and get things going. So if that sounds good with everybody, uh, show me a big yes in the question box. Yes, I can hear you. And this, that sounds good. So I just want to make sure everyone can hear us OK. There are still people coming on. I'm seeing people come on you know, every few minutes. So there's more and more people come on. We sure appreciate that. So thank you for the yeses. We appreciate that. So now I want to make sure you can see my screen, too. I just pulled over a browser. And in my browser, let's see here. You should see my screen where it says FB Lead Finder, and there's a little software there, right? right? So and then you see my Facebook. And you see that. So one of the things I did want to share with you real quick is um, I've been doing some internet marketing stuff, and I really believe in Facebook because it's you know a billion people on Facebook, and I can give you all kinds of stats, and I'm not going to do that today. Um, we're going to all assume that hey, if we if we're in business for ourselves, it doesn't matter if you have a brick and mortar business or you're involved in the network marketing business like we all are, and I know Marianne is, is you're in business for yourself, and it's about relationships. And it's about getting to people to hear about you, know about you, and getting them to know you a little bit. And obviously, Facebook is a fantastic tool for that purpose. So here I am at Facebook. Let me go to the Facebook tab. And you guys can see my Facebook tag. My friend Nick posted a video. Um, but here we are at Facebook. And then you got your notifications tab and your different things. Well, one of the things we wanted to share with you is just ways to use Facebook and to find people on Facebook that are beneficial for your business. So one of the things that we wanted to do, uh, I have a big online ministry. Let me show you this real quick. And this kind of goes, goes to show 
um, a little bit of credibility, but I have a, an online ministry. We have a website called Inspiration by God. We also have a YouTube channel called Inspiration by God, and that's this right now. And um, can you see this okay, Marianne? Do you see it screen as well? It's okay. Yeah. So yeah. I just clicked the I just clicked on the about section, and we have sixty thousand three hundred and sixty subscribers to our YouTube channel. And look at this, we have 133,252,492 views of the videos on our YouTube channel. That's pretty amazing when you think about it. We also have a website called TheInterviewWithGod.com, and TheInterviewWithGod.com has been viewed by over 100 million people as well. And so think about that. Think about that for a second. You go, if, if I was to invest in a store at the mall, how many years, how many decades, how long would it take for 100 million people to come to my website or my mall, my, my store in the mall, right? It, it, it might be lifetimes. Like, who knows? I mean, it's like, no, I know malls get a lot of traffic, but not 100 million people, right? But here on the Internet, you literally have that ability to get in front of thousands of people, tens of thousands of people, and it's literally the new way to meet people in a network. It's we want you to do things right. We want you to do things with the right intention. So I wanted to share with you that to show you that, hey, at least the guy knows how to get a YouTube channel and get a lot of, a lot of views on a YouTube channel. Um, and I can show you websites and different things that we've done, but hundreds of websites and that kind of stuff. So here's the, here's the software program that we created. And we originally created the software program because we had a need. And the need was is we wanted to network and joint venture with other online ministries and other people that were faith-based so we could share you know, our faith and kind of what we were doing. So we needed a tool, and we basically went up here to Facebook, and we typed in, like, say, Jesus. And we typed Jesus into the search box. And this is even before what's called Facebook Graph. And I hit Jesus, and you see I get a few results right here, right? Okay, so how do I really, you know, I can do something with that, but it became very, very time-consuming. So we said, well, what if we did a software program that was like a Facebook search engine? And I typed in Jesus, and I hit go. And now what it does, it goes out to Facebook, and it finds all of the fan pages that have something to do with Jesus. So it, it pulls the top 500 results. And then organizes them by category. It organizes them by how many likes they have. It organizes them by how many people are talking about or engaged on that fan page. And then here was a key thing. It then tells me which fan page allows me to private message them. Okay? So, wow, wow, that's pretty cool, right? So now what we did is we started finding the ones that would allow us to private message them. We would click the yes. It opens up another tab takes me right to the Facebook place where I can then private message them. And you can see I private message them. Hey, I would like to invite you to participate in the Keep Christ in Christmas Google Hangout and help us with our pledge campaign. We'd be honored with your help and support. I made you a video that explains why we're doing this here. And here's a national press release that went out asking for your help. Thanks, Greg Ryder. So you can see I private messaged them something that was relevant to them and faith and all that kind of stuff. And basically, we were doing a Keep Christ Christmas campaign, and it was very, very successful. Then we also figured out this. We figured out, hey, there's some people that they charge money to post on their fan page. So I can't remember which one it was, but it was one of these fan pages right around in here that had about four or five million fans. And we paid them $200 to post four posts during the day on their fan page. And Marianne, guess how many unique visitors they drove to our website for doing four posts in one day? I have no idea. A hundred thousand, like one hundred and one thousand visitors to our page in one day. Holy moly! So you think about that, and you go, "Wow, could I do a joint venture with somebody? Could I partner with somebody?" And I want to use a term that you guys are hopefully familiar with, but sometimes people aren't. And that's like leverage, right? So by me, I don't have, look at this one, the top one, Jesus Daily, 27 million fans. Well, I got a hold of the guy that owns Jesus Daily. I worked out a deal to do some stuff with him. I don't have 27 million fans. I don't have, like this one, 3.9 million fans, 2.9 million fans. Look at that. Do you think 
that if you had a product or a service that was like-minded with them and you could partner with them or bring them into your network marketing business, they already have two million fans. Do you think they can bring a lot of people, a lot of leads to your organization? You bet you could, right? So let me click on this little column right here. You click on talking about, and now it shows me how many people are actually engaged on that fan page. I'm going to scroll to the bottom. And you can see now down here, you have zero people talking about it, right? So those people need social media marketing help. But it still shows you the top 500 fan pages that are around that particular um, you know, uh, theme. So let me give you an ex another example. Let's type in yoga. So we know that people that are into yoga, they're into health, right? They're into nutrition. They're into, they're into feeling good. They're into exercise. You know, they have a, a mindset about them. So I just typed in yoga, and look at that. In a matter of seconds, it pulled up the top 500 fan pages for yoga and how many fans they have, how many people are engaged in their page, and what they're doing, right? So there is not another tool. You cannot do what I just did with Facebook. Now, I'm going to show you some other Facebook search strategies as we get into today's training, but I just want to show with you, this is a, if you expand your mind, what you can do with this technology is pretty mind-boggling. Let me give you another example. Now, Facebook changed the way they work, and so we used to have a location box, but now you just have to do yoga, San Diego, let's say. So let's say I want to find yoga people that are in San Diego because I'm doing an event and I want to invite them to my event. I want them to come and meet me physically, you know, personally. Boom, I do yoga San Diego and there's 161 yoga fan pages that have San Diego in their keywords and in, in, in their page. That's pretty strong, right? So now you can start to target people locally and get people locally involved in your events and this is a great way to find them and find the ones that have a lot of fans and that are really engaged. So now, Marianne, let me do this for a second. So you've been using the software and tell me a couple ways that you've been using it that we were talking about a few minutes ago. Well, I, I think what's important, you know, like what you were saying, the people that are talking on these different fan pages and you can see how many are you know, um, they may have all these followers, but who's really interacting? And then finding people on there that are um, interacting that have the same type of mindset or something that um, you're interested in and start developing a relationship with someone within the fan page. And really that's how I feel it, it really benefits my business. And just like what you said, when you're going to have an event locally and you want to draw people to it, th that's a great way, especially because you can see who's on that, who's really on that fan page. I think sometimes there's, you know, I was thinking about Google and how people pop up organically and how other people are paying for ads. And so you never really know which is the real, you know, you know who's paying for ads and you know that somebody's on the front page of Google. But that is, if it's organic, you know they've done the right stuff. And that's what I see how you can tell that with this program. Yeah, and I'm going to give you a couple examples out here in a minute. I just typed in the word health, and again, you can see all the websites or all the fan pages that have something to do with health, and just the millions and millions and millions of fans and the ones that are engaged in talking about it. So what Marianne was talking about, and again, um, I, I at one point, and here's another thing, looking, looking up your competitors, like, uh, like here's here's Vima, so they're in the net, the, you know, in the multi-level network marketing space, right? And I type in Vima, and now it pulls up every fan page that anyone's ever created around Vima, and you hey, can do it Greg, real quick. I had somebody that was clicking in, and they were they were attempting to get on, and it keeps telling them that they have to claim their ticket, and I was having the same thing. I was pulling it up on another. Is there anything I can tell them? Claim claim their ticket. Yeah, that's what it was saying. They need to claim their ticket. I've never heard of that. I've done dozens and dozens of these webinars. We'll go to webinar. I've never heard claim your ticket. You basically have to register, right? And then when you register, you're, you're supposed to get a link in your email, and you have to click on that special link, and then that link lets you in. So if that's the process, and they're trying to use somebody else's link, 
like somebody it's shared not, their link with them, it might not, it might not, maybe that's what it's saying. Maybe somebody shared a link going, oh, you got to get on this, and they shared their link. It won't let two people come in on the same link. Oh, okay. All right. Well, so they have, they have to go back to fbleadfinder.com webinar, register, and then come in on their own link. Okay. Okay. So I just give you now going back to this. So look at here's all the Vima fan pages. So you know every you want to you know if you, if, if if there was a way to look at competitors or study them or watch them. And I brought this up because somebody said to me, "Goes great because I just use your FBLE Finder software to monitor what my what, what what my competitors are doing." He goes, "It's the fastest way to find all my competitors and monitor what they're doing." Um, now let me show you another thing that uh, women's empowerment. Let's say. So I'm involved, or I'm an investor, I'm an angel investor, and, 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 and I have a company called Be Your Own You, and it's a self-esteem lifestyle brand called Be Your Own You, and it's about teaching young girls and teenagers and tweeners uh, uh, self-esteem. So, and the whole, it's kind of tied into the whole, um, you know, women's empowerment space, but if I type in self-esteem, I guess spell it right, and women's empowerment, so you can see it pulled up women's empowerment. Now there's 108,000 people here. Well, it turns out a friend of mine started a network marketing company called BYOUXO, and here's their website, BYOUXO, and it's all about women's empowerment, it's all about you know, women helping women, women supporting women. So let me tell you, show you a strategy, kind of going back to what you were starting to say a second ago. If I type in self-esteem, right, and here's all the pages with self-esteem or women's empowerment, and I say, okay, let me click on talking about, see which one has the most engagement. Now, they don't have a lot of engagement, but still, you're talking hundreds of people. If I go to Knowledge Gateway for Women's Economic Empowerment, right, and they have 6,213 likes, and I see the people that are commenting and, you know, doing stuff on these pages, I can go and get them engaged in the conversation, and I can say to them, hey, you know, I noticed that you liked this women's empowerment page, I'm, you know, fairly new to Facebook, and I'm getting into the women's empowerment space, and I just want to ask you to be my friend. So I would ask strangers to friend request me based on a theme. So whether it's health, nutrition, yoga, so and what, what, I would, what I would teach people from a network marketing perspective, if you just had a regimen of every day using Epi Lead Finder to find fan pages of like-minded people, then you found those like-minded people that like those other pages and ask them to be a friend. You probably, you go find their page and you ask them to be a friend. Perfect. Let me just show you what I've been doing. I guess a real good example is going to be uh, the National Speakers Association. Okay, so I'm a speaker and I want to I want to network and that didn't come up with any results. I don't know if I spelled it wrong or I did spell it wrong. Hold on. Let me see if I spell it right if it comes up. Nation, nation, T, I, O, N, I, O, N, A, L. Let's see if that brings up any results. Okay, so um, here's the National Speakers Associations, right? And then another one was NSA. But anyway, I, I, I joined the NSA and I got the list of all the speakers, right? And so we've been using between Facebook and the list of the speakers. I've been literally going on Facebook, and if I go to my private messages tab, you'll see that uh, I have been asking people, like, and, and I'm getting new friends every day. So let me hit see all. But this is an exact strategy that you can use for doing um, like-minded people and building a friends of like-minded people. Pardon? Did you see what popped up? It said, "Are you pooping wrong?" Oh yeah, you got to be careful what you know, who, what friends you have, <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, good. So I, I I wrote a post that says, "I saw that you're registered on the National Speakers Association list, and I too am a speaker. So I thought I would friend request you and network on Facebook with like-minded people. Hope you don't mind." Smiley face, Greg. And every day, I'm getting new friends going, oh, hi, Greg, yes, happy to network. Find me on LinkedIn, too, thank you. Um, yeah, great, thanks, what do you speak on? So I'm getting into conversations. They're asking me what I do. Hey, Greg, we are a great global committee. It's nice to be in touch. Happy Thanksgiving to you and your family, right? So I'm building, so I'm doing this about 10 people a day, 
every day like clockwork. And this strategy, I'm getting 10 new friends. I mean, I, I think I'm getting like 8 out of 10 requests, new friends every day of like-minded speakers, right? So again, if you did that with health, if you did that with nutrition, if you did that with women's empowerment network. So for instance, my partner's wife does, just got on Facebook like a month ago. She doesn't have any friends other than family. And she wants to start building her network marketing business. And I said, look, if you just did this one strategy, and every day you did it to 30 friends, on average, I'm seeing about one-third of those people take up you on your friend request. So if you did 30 a day, that would be 10 new friends a day. If you did that seven days a week in a year from now, you would have 3,600 friends. Now, the difference is you'd have 3,600 friends of like-minded friends who, let's say, all love women's empowerment, all are about self-esteem, all are about women supporting women, right? How strong is that? Or whether it's health, whether it's nutrition, whether it's home-based business, whether it's, you know, being uh, personal development, whatever that is, when you start leveraging this strategy and doing this with like-minded people, you get tons of friends. Now, again, it makes it easy when you have a keyword like Jesus and you can go to Jesus daily. Like, look, let me just go to Jesus daily fan page and give an example. So here's, here's, here's the thing. And look at this. When it has 700, it has 22 comments. So here would be an example. I could go to any one of these people. So I'm going to go to Jane Bundy. I click on Jane Bundy, right? And I come to her page and I hit message. And I just go, hi, Jane. I saw you made a post on Jesus Daily fan page. And I am a Christian and have a website called Inspiration by God. And I thought I would ask you to friend request me as I would like to make more Christian friends on Facebook. Right? So you see what I, you see exactly what I did there? So I'm asking, I'm not friend requesting them. I'm asking them to friend request me. Now you could do it either way. And then you hit post. She's going to get that message, and she's going to maybe go check me out, and then she's going to maybe accept my friend request or not. But again, if I did that, I could have a whole bunch of Christian friends. So think about that. Who do you want to network with? Who do you want to get involved with? Who do you, what do you want to do? And let's see if that makes sense. So with that being said, let's see if there's any questions that we want to answer. Yeah, there's, yeah Corey's got – well, there's a couple of people that said they weren't able to see the screen below you. And the audio, so I'm not I'm not sure because I'm hearing you fine. Um, all right, let me see here. And somebody was asking, do you see that question? If someone buys the software to use, would it be if someone best buys to the software to use Facebook Lead Partner? It would be best to clear your searches when you do more than one search. So just just add the search ideas and other ones such as. Yeah, yeah. So let me. So what he's asking is that. It would be a good idea to, uh, you know, clear your searches. So what happens is every time I do a search, so here I did Jesus. I click on Jesus. There's my results. I click on yoga. There's my results. I click on yoga San Diego. There's my results. I clicked on health. So it's not merging the results together. It's just giving me a different column. And if I wanted to get rid of one, there's a little X here, and I could get rid of it. So let's say I want to get rid of women's empowerment. I click the X. I want to get rid of the self-esteem. I click the X. So you could clear all searches like that. And now everything goes away, and it clears your screen, and you can start over again. Uh, it, it's totally up to you what you want to what you want to do and how that does. It. So FB Lead Finder. Somebody's asking me FB Lead Finder how much it costs. And FB Lead Finder is forty seven dollars. It's just it's a one time investment. It's forty seven dollars, and I made a special link for everybody listening today. And I'm going to give you guys that special link right now. Um, if you guys want to check it out. But it's called fbleadfinder.com slash leads. And how do I get that in there? If I go here, I put that there, send all. That's where you can go and, and buy the software if you want to. So, and, and actually when you do that, 
and you go back to the members area. There's like a little members area. I'll show you real quick. There is some Facebook. There's some training member. There's some training Facebook training in here. So I have videos training on various Facebook marketing strategies and stuff as well. So it, it, it's just for, for $47, it's a no-brainer. And you know what? If you make the investment software and you're not happy with it, let us know. We'll give you a refund. It's not about the $47. It's about, um, you know, that just helps us support the software. It's about giving you tools that you can use and that you can work with um, well, to do some Rick, stuff. You know, the big thing that I see on this that I um, feel the advantage is, is that it saves a lot of time when you want to search different categories and, and really start embedding yourself into those areas. And so while, while it's a great tool, um, I'm always looking for tools that can save me time, right? We're all so busy that it starts to get to the point, you know, I wouldn't want somebody to buy this if they didn't think they were going to get their money's worth out of it, right? right? If they didn't think they were going to, like you said earlier, you know, put the 10 to 15 minutes a day into something along this, uh, along the lines of this, and investing into those relationships, and if you see the value. If, if you don't see the value, I, you know, don't get it, because I, I want people that are going to, um, you know, be able to utilize it and feel that they've got their money's worth. Yeah, no, that's for sure. And really, and really, it, it's like I was thinking about you know this, and, and and you know, with 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 our global economy and the internet, Facebook, and 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 Marianne knows network marketing. We like meeting face to face. We like you know you know building relationships face to face. And but in some situations, people are more comfortable online. In some situations. They don't have a lot of places to go face to face. They don't know anyone. They can't network. How do they meet people? And the biggest issue with all network marketers is, is how do you get more leads into your funnel? Like how do you how do you develop more and more relationships? So again, if you did that strategy of just asking people to be your friend that are like minded, that you could build relationships with and talk to them and share stuff with them and support them online. You could build up 3,600 friends in a year, and 3,600 friends, like-minded friends, you're going to build a nice downline. It's going to be very, very profitable. I know people doing it. I know people using the exact strategy, and I know it works. Uh, and and whether that's selling your, I, I know people doing it for products too. So let me give you another, just a quick example with that. I have a PowerPoint here that I had some case studies on, and let me pull this up. So uh, here's a case study where a guy. He typed in the keyword Rich Dad Poor Dad, which is an author that, that did the Robert Kiyosaki. He went onto his fan page, and all the, every, every post, they made comments. They started commenting on comments. They started liking comments, and they got actively involved on somebody's fan page, which is another great strategy. After he did that for about three or four or five days, he said, hey, I've got an audio book and training, and I would like to share it with you guys. So he started posting his offer to for his audiobook on the other person's fan page in the comments section and within six days he sold 128 units at ninety seven dollars a piece did gross revenues of twelve thousand four hundred sixteen dollars and had net profits of eight thousand five hundred seventy six dollars using a Facebook marketing strategy leveraging the tool of finding fan pages of like minded people. Right? Here's another example of a guy that did the same thing in soccer. He went to he found some soccer fan pages, he got actively involved on those fan pages and commenting and liking and sharing and making very valuable comments and good stuff. He then said, hey, I got a soccer trading course. Check it out. He made 92 sales and generated $4,328. Uh, I like this one too. Another lady had a, a specialty tea company. So she looked up coffee and tea fan pages, the Starbucks, all that kind of stuff. Started really getting involved in those fan pages, liking and commenting. and. Then she said, hey, I got a new tea. I'd like to give you a free sample. And she offered a free sample. And the free sample offered them, they had to pay uh, like 2 or $3 for uh, shipping and handling. Then after they paid that, she had an upsell for $99. She had, a 40, she had 526 people request a free sample. She had 46% of those people uh, convert on the $99 upsell. She made 242 sales, generating over $20,000 in the six days of working the Facebook strategy. It just works, you know, you just do it. Uh, here's another case study of a guy that was in the golf business. He really wasn't trying to sell a product, he just wanted to get in front of golf people. He used this strategy with all these golf databases. He had over 800,000 people see his brand, 
see his messaging, and he built up a really nice database that he's making money with sending emails out to his database. And, uh, and there's another last one that I have. A guy did an eight-day campaign where, he, where he's doing these kind of strategies on Facebook, and he went to South Park. So he's a little, fates, uh, little, 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 little imit, uh, miniature figurines uh, that he got from China for like a dollar a piece. And he put together a set of them. He generated over $7,960 in profit. So this stuff that you can do and these strategies do work, you just got to work it. It's work. It's like it's, it's not going to come to you. So it's about you know leveraging the tools, leveraging the databases, and getting in there and doing that kind of stuff. And so you have to really think about what kind of person would want to do this with us, and and what you know what you know what, what kind of like-minded person do you want to network with, and how are you going to make that work? So I hope that everyone is understanding what I'm saying. If you have any questions, go ahead and type your question in the question box, and we'll see what that if you, we'll answer your questions. So Marianne, do you have a sample message that you put on the pages you can message? Is it company specific or just general health company for an example? Do you do, you do the private messaging strategy, Marianne, or do you just use I, it for? I do do the private messaging strategy, and actually I have several people that I'm working on. In, I'm in that stream right now of private messaging. And really, it, you know, there's... I, I like your sample of what you gave earlier. I, I don't have a particular sample in that I start into a conversation and um, I make a comment on something that they've posted and then we start the private messaging. And so it really, again, I kind of do that coffee shop interview, you know, that Tom talks about all the time. So I start getting to know them to find out if, it, if and when um, we move into that next conversation. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, it does. And, and you know, the other thing I want to share with you is just so people that maybe they don't understand this. If you go to a fan page, like I'm at Jesus Daily, and here's a video or something, right? And you have these people that commented on it. See, there's 27 comments. If I comment on it, wow, that was cool. And normally I would watch it and make a comment that's relevant to, you know, the post. But now that I made that comment, see, my name shows up, right, on that comment list. But everybody who commented, these 27 other people that commented, they get a notification up here in the notifications window that says, Greg Ryder just commented on a, on a post that you commented on. I see you say, see, this is Marianne and Cheryl commented on your link, right? So right. what happens is, is if you do this first, people are going to see your name two or three times. You do this two, for two or three or four or five days, they're going to see your name. So then when you do private message them, they're going to have already seen your name. So they're much more likely to friend request you, accept your friend request, because they're going to have seen your name. And it's just a great strategy. So and what I'll do, too, is I'll log in as my fan page. So let me go to my Inspiration by God fan page for a second. So I'll log in as my fan page, Inspiration by God, right? So now this is my fan page, Inspiration by God. Then I'm going to go up in here to the search box, and I'm going to type in Jesus Daily, because now I know... That's where I want to. That's where a lot of people are engaged in a comment. Now, when I come here and I comment on a comment here again, um, I'll type in "never give up" because that's what the Rhino story is about. I hit enter. Now, my logo shows up, and inspiration by God shows up. And what I do is, I, I have my team. We do this kind of stuff on a regular basis. And guess what happens? Other people comment and they go, wow, inspiration by God, that sounds cool. They click on the link and they come over to my fan page and like my fan page. And I do that with my Keep Christ and Christmas fan page. This time of year, we're getting ready to do my, I have every year we do a Keep Christ and Christmas campaign. And so we do it. So this drives traffic to our website. Oh, that's another thing too. I forgot to tell you this one. Another strategy I did is I did uh, authors, or I did women authors, I think it was. I haven't done this for a while, but we started a new, a new uh, uh, blog called, uh, uh, what was it called? It was called, uh, it was a women's blog. I forget what it was called. It's been about a year and a half. But we typed in authors, and then we went to them, and we said, hey, we noticed you're a women author, and we just started a new website for women authors, and we'd like you to be a contributing blogger. Would you be, would you be interested in being a contributing blogger? Oh, it was called GeniusMoms.com. And we were oh, looking yeah. for moms. 
Yeah, and we ended up getting 77 contributing uh, bloggers and, and writers uh, to write articles for our blog, and that helped us jumpstart the traffic on our blog and helped us start getting all kinds of content for our blog, and it was just a great strategy, just a great strategy. So just, just really, really cool stuff that you can do when you, when you think outside the box of what you're doing. So now let me, let me show you, let me log back onto my personal fan page. And um, well, let me show you something, one other thing that's going to, that, that I, that, and where all this goes. So the, the, the first phase is, this is what I'm referring to as the guerrilla marketing strategy. This is guerrilla marketing. This is, you can put your work together, you got to do this, right? But eventually, you want your own fan page, right? And, and, and our teaser copy for the webinar uh, I said, how to find Facebook that so, like, best is guaranteed. Well, you really should have your own fan page. You have to have your own fan page at some point because why? We want you to start advertising on Facebook and buying traffic. And I'm one of these marketing people that believe if you have a business and you can, you should be able to, you know, get things down to where you can afford to advertise. And Facebook is so cool because you can advertise to the exact demographic and the exact target market you want to. And I'm going to tell you why you have to do this because so one of the fan pages that we own and manage um, is is for a uh, a little young uh, superstar. So look at this; she's got a million fans. Now, a year and a half ago, when Marianne first got introduced to me and Empty Leaf Finder, when I would make a post on her wall, she would get, and this is back when she had about a half a million fans. We we've grown her fan page by a half a million people in the last year and a half. She would get about 100,000 people to get engaged in every post. Now look at this, 2,391. Um, uh, let me see down here, uh, 2,671, 3,336, so 1,999. Facebook has made it in, so you don't get the reach. You only get about a 1% to 5% of your fan base is going to see your post unless you advertise. So they want us to do what's called boost your post. So for an extra five bucks, now I can get 100,000 people to see my fan page. So it really is worth it when you know what you're doing and know how to do it. We're not going to go on that today. But you've got to have a fan page. You've got to start creating your fans. You've got to start creating a list on, on, on Facebook. And then you've got to start advertising. And then you can advertise to those fans and you can get your word out to lots of people. Uh, and as an example, just a little teaser, that one of the things that Marianne and I are going to do is we're going to start advertising on Facebook because of my skills and knowledge of doing that to fans of um, um, Benny Hinn that have seen, or, or, or maybe they haven't seen, the interview that Benny Hinn did with Dr. Wallach to generate leads for longevity, and I believe as we get this thing going, we can generate 20 to 50 highly qualified leads on a daily basis for uh, leveraging you know that interview that Dr. Wallach did with Benny Hinn. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I know that Marianne can share share with you what I'm talking about. Yeah, um, there's a great YouTube video. Yeah, it's awesome. So let me go back here. Let me show you a couple things. So. Here's, here's another thing that everyone should do, and you can do this on your own. You can Google this. Facebook has stuff. But I just want to give you a little teaser. So Facebook graph search for, for finding leads is really phenomenal when you, like my, my Epi Lead Finder doesn't do this, but Epi Lead Finder might help me get some ideas. But let's say I type women, and then I type who like nutrition. Right, and and unemployed looking for work. So we know one thing, right? We know that I think the number is about sixty-five percent of network marketers are women, and 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 I know some network marketing companies like Mary Kay are, are, are even way higher than that, right? But let's say you get along with women, you want to build a downline of women, you want people that are women. If you typed in women who like nutrition because we have a nutrition product and they're unemployed looking for work, I just type that in Google graph search and boom. Oh, 
I guess it, I guess if I hit see more results, that didn't work. But see, let's see here. So I, I'm going to type that women who like the nutrition and are looking for work. Company, 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 company. You click on that, and here it shows me the people. Right. So, and I, I don't. And to be real honestly with you, I don't implement the strategy myself. I don't do this enough because this is kind of like not my business. My, my core business, but I know it works. I know other people do this. And here's another great way to find people based on what they're telling people in nutrition and media, Facebook, right? Um, so you can do that. And it's like, I didn't know that you, I didn't know like four or five months ago you can do that. Somebody started showing me you can type this stuff. So let me give you another example. So let's say we type in women who like nutrition and live in Escondido. They live, they live in my city. California. Right? I click on that. Nine, there were 99,000 people. Right? So, so let's say we're doing our uh, introductory meeting or, or you know, our meeting and, and we're doing it on Thursday night. I come in here and I spend half hour and I and I and I go to Cindy and I I private message Cindy. Hey Cindy, I noticed that you like nutrition and you're in uh, Escondido, um, and you also like Rich Cook, who's a friend of mine. See, I said 64 mutual friends, and you like Rich Cook, who's a friend of mine. And I thought I'd invite you to our meeting that we're having Thursday night over here at Vince. Uh, blah 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 blah. Go down to Devada. Hey Devada, I know she liked nutrition. You live in Escondido. And you also have another friend, Lucia, who's a friend of mine. And I thought I'd invite you to our networking event. You go down here to Diane. You go down here to you just keep doing that, right? Believe me, you do this or you have your virtual assistant do this or you have your daughter or your son or whatever do this, you're going to get people to friend request you, to like you, and you're going to get people to show up to your event. And it's really about being uh, – creative on what you say to them, how you offer them, and you can't be spammy, and you got to make sure you do, you know, read a little bit about them, but how cool is that? Have you ever seen this before, um, this strategy before, uh, Marianne? Well, I mean, I've seen it in the aspect of um, not doing a search like this, but, you know, just following people on other people's Facebook and seeing how, you know, who they're related to, people that you can know, but this is great. I didn't even know that you could put in the city so that you would know where people are. And so, okay, so now you're looking up Tom Chenault. You know, Tom Chenault uses Facebook like a sword. And he's got over 5,000 people. And he has a fan page. And we have the, you know, Longmont Matters and, and what have you. He could probably have a few more pages if he wanted. Um, but that's how Tom gets his name out there. I mean, otherwise, we think about it, the community of longevity is, is huge and yet small. Right. right. He has so many followers on Facebook, and we used to compete on making a post and seeing how many people would comment on it. And uh, since I have so many less friends than he does, I always said I needed, you know, it's like one, uh, one to five value or something like that, <laughs> or five to one. <laughs> right. But it's a great strategy. People who like Tom Chenault live in Longmont. People who like Tom Chenault and let's see if I put live in Escondido. See, so now I find people that like Tom Schnall to live in Escondido. There's three people. Right. And two of them are friends of mine, and one of them's not a friend of mine. So again, if I said to this guy, hey, Shane, I'm friends with Tom Schnall. I thought we'd be friends, too. He's going to be my friend, friend, friend request, and then you can invite Shane to events, right? It's just a great, great strategy to do that. Now, so take, oops, so so take that. Let's do one more thing that you can also do here. So you all, we all know that on Facebook we have groups, right? So what if we type groups of people who like nutrition, right? So now you can do that, and it, now it's going to show me groups of people. Oh, well, I actually I actually did the ultimate nutrition. I didn't see it do that. So that must be something going on. But you see my point? You can type in groups of people who like blank, 
And then you just keep playing with this and playing with this and figuring out stuff that works for you. And it is awesome how you can really, really accelerate your networking, building groups, joining groups, getting involved with like-minded people. And there's just no reason why everybody isn't getting two to three new leads a day, new friends a day by spending 20 to 30 minutes a day doing this. So, you, know, I don't, you don't need to spend your whole life on the internet. Now, on the other hand, there are people, like I said, that they're, they're more introverted. They don't like to go out and meet people. They want to get on the internet. And they can do stuff on the internet. You literally could do this all day and get hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people to do this kind of to, to network with you and do stuff. And it's endless, you know, what you can do to help those people, serve those people. And again, the thing I love about uh, Longevity and Tom Chanel and everyone, they're always doing things to help us be better people and, and to help us be a better life. And, and you know, personal development's huge. And just sharing that with stuff people is great. It's just great stuff. So let's see if we have any questions or if you have any comments. But if you have any questions, this is the time to, 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 to ask them and put them in there yeah, right now. Yeah, I, I wanted to point out, too, that, um, that this, is, this is something that's inherent to Facebook. And so you could use both the, um, you know, the Facebook Leads Finder and this type of search engine, which is within Facebook, correct? Yes. yes. What you're showing right here. Yeah. So, yeah, there's a lot of different ways to take advantage of what Facebook has to offer. The Facebook Leads tool is a great tool, and this search, you know, program is a, is a great tool as well. Yeah, see, what I do is I like using Facebook Lead Finder to find the fan pages with lots of fans. Then I can, right. go, then I can go back over here and say, uh, you know, go back to my search, you know, people who like... Jesus daily, right, and live in Escondido. See, because now, if they like Jesus daily, we, uh, see, now it's, it puts words in there somehow. I don't know what did that. Hmm. It might be just converting it into something that's searched. All right, watch what's going on there. There we go. Oh, there. So now, now I know these people. Right? We have something in common. We both like Jesus daily, which we're probably both, we're, we're probably Christians, right? So then I can say, hey, Mike, I see you're realtor of Century 21. I live in Escondido. I'm a Christian. You know, we're having an event. Come on over. Um, look at all these new friends I can make right here in my own city. Right. It's awesome. It's just, it's just an awesome way to network with people. Sure, not everyone's going to be interested, but it's just a great way. Look at this real estate investor, internet marketer, entrepreneur, Lee Miller. I mean, him and I should be. We have 12 mutual friends. Well, and the other thing, too, and Tom and I were talking about this the other day, and he talked about it on his cold calling that he did, was that, you know, there's lots of ways to find people that are in network marketing. And so you can search different websites. You know, we were talking about at coffee shops how, you know, people will post their uh, business cards, right, up on a bulletin board or something like that. And so find, you know, a business card that looks interesting. Maybe it's somebody in Mary Kay or maybe it's somebody in prepaid legal. And just go, hey, I'm in network marketing too. I really admire the profession. I'd love to sit down with you and just pick your brain. Find out what's going on. And, you know, Tom just did that with a lady. Um, and actually, I think she was in, uh, oh, in prepaid legal. She was so cute because she had no idea who Tom was. And she started talking about a book that Brian Carruthers had written and how he should really read that book. And, um, and you know, he didn't, he didn't play the, hey, I'm a big network marketer guy, right? He just said, you know what, that's a great recommendation. I'd love to send you some information. And they built a relationship. And, you know, the next phase is for him to move that relationship forward. So. These are just ways to find people to build the relationship with. Right, that are like-minded and whatever. And so, again, I just typed the people who like Jesus daily and network marketing. So now we know that, you know, they, they like network marketing and they're more likely a Christian. And, you know, so, again, you can really be specific about what you're doing with that. So, okay, so the link for the FB Lead Finder was fbleadfinder.com forward slash leads, fbleadfinder.com forward slash leads. I'll give you, I'll, I'll Skype to your, send it again to the system. There you go. 
And then Tony wanted to know about where we'll post it, the recording afterwards. We're, we're going to post it at fbleadfinder.com forward slash webinar. Right? We're the same page that you registered on. We'll just put it right there. And I'll add this off my web page too. And, and we should, I, I should have your email address, so I'll email everyone the replay link because there's, you know, there's a lot of people that registered that didn't make it, and we're, we'll send an email out. And then, of course, Follow us on Facebook. Make sure you friend request both me and Marianne because we'll, I'm sure we'll be posting on Facebook. I've already gotten a few requests while we've been on here. And I've got four or five people in my office right now. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I think that's a good good thing to wrap it up. We've been going about 45, 50 minutes. It's just some great training. Uh, these, are the little, these are the little things that you learn and you implement that separate you from the rest of the world that make you successful. Right? It's, not, it's not the big things. It's the little things. And it's the commitment to do it consistently, right? Do them consistently, and you watch. And again, I, I like that idea that uh, I, I, one of my favorite books was written by a guy named Darren Hardy. It was called The Compound Effect. I wonder if I have one here. Um, and he was talking about the analogy of me losing weight. He's like, if, if you cut 100 calories out of your diet every day, are you going to see results in a month? Are you going to see results in two months? Maybe a little bit. But are you going to see results a year from now, are you going to, two years from now? Yes, 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 yes. So it's like you got to do these things for months and months and months. And then the compound effect starts to take place. And boom, 10 friends turn into 20, turn into 60, turn into 200, turn into 2,000. And the next thing you know, you're a rock star like Tom Chenault, and you're just flying all over the world and having a blast. Right? It's like yeah, consistently. Exactly. Yeah. Well, and that's what's cool about this, about network marketing, is that we all have that advantage. So. Yeah, sorry. I, I did put the wrong link. It's lead finder, L-E-A-D finder. I put the wrong link. I can't. It's hard for me to do multiple tasks. All right. <laughs> you can send out an email. Hey, Greg, I want to thank you so much. I've enjoyed working with you over the last couple of years, and I'm really excited about um, the next I don't know, 20 years. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, no, I appreciate it, too. And if, if anyone's out there and, and, and you have a, a, a business where you do need some marketing advice, um, we, have a, we, have a, we do free strategy calls. And you can go to reportcardmarketing.com, report card marketing, and read our little stuff. And, and if it fits for you and it works for you, you can get involved. And we're always teaching all kinds of great marketing strategies and and help people double, triple, quadruple their income with their businesses. So I really appreciate it. And with that being said, let's wrap it up. And, and uh, I always end everything I do with this. Do what I do. Wake up every day with an attitude of gratitude. Then tell somebody you love them. And I promise you, you have a much better day. <laughs> All right. Thank, Thank you, you so much. I love that. And Tom's is love like crazy and then love more. Yeah, so. exactly. All right. All right. Thank you, Marianne. Everybody, you get, everybody have a fantastic day.